Look, I'm not one to just put this out there to just try to make it look like, you know, really bad on a, a artist. But my goodness, I mean, it, it's it must be said though it hurts to say. Uh, Tiger is one of those artists that, you know, that's just it. You know, Tiger, when you, you talk about Tiger, you're talking about a person that, in my, you know, guesstimation and all things considered, Tiger is somebody that, and that's my boy, man, he loves some Tiger, I don't know why he keeps putting Tiger up there with, like, the best artist. Man, Tiger cold. Anyway. No matter how cold well, Tiger we, was, the area. no matter how cold Tiger was, <laughs> as an artist, the the revenue don't seem to be cold. That that's went cold. <laughs> you know, unfortunately for him, he's back looking at more people he owe, and believe me, he owe a lot of people. And they ain't never getting that money back. He ended up owing Kylie, whatever her name is, Jenner. Uh, Kylie Jenner. He owes her money. She was paying his rent. And he was supposed to get some money back from a deal. He never got it. Then when he did get some money, he didn't pay it. He's been slipping and sliding for years. For years, three years ago, he was sued by a landlord after he, you know, abandoned the retail clothing. You know, I mean, it's crazy. And then he rolled out and went to another place and got his son sued. Tiger used his five-year-old son Black China's son, King Cairo, and put him in position to be sued after putting his name on the lease for the house he was renting. So now his son, who's five years old, is being sued before he even owns a bank account, even know what the heck is going on. That's how low down Tiger is. That's crazy. Tiger has been pulling this move for years. Now it's all catching up to him. His former manager sued him in 2015. That's when it all started. I mean, this he just continually messes up and don't pay. And now he's getting sued. Now he's getting sued for paying a hundred and fifty some thousand dollars for a car that he leased or rented. No, he rented the car. Then he took the car to a dealership and abandoned the car. So they're trying, and he had to pay the charges for that, which was like three thousand some odd dollars a day, and that thing just kept doubling. And for the years he didn't pay, so he. Finally had to pay it when they got the car back. He's got to pay a hundred some thousand dollars for a Range Rover that's worth right now a 2014 Range Rover. It's not even worth twenty five thousand dollars. <laughs> man, this guy here, my goodness, he needs some help for real. Y'all boy needs some help. I'm going to call my homeboy, too. We we'll always defend him. He'll have a good excuse for him. Man, that was probably some chick car. You know what I'm saying? He probably rid of it for her and she ain't turning back in. You know these hoes, man. Call him Chicago. Lead them hoes, man. Lead them hoes. <laughs> oh, man. Anyway, I'm out. It's your boy, Carcino. Don't forget, though, subscribe and hit that notification button. I'm out.